Yo, what up? It's Tog from We Make Best, back with another Kano video. Uh, this one's a little bit different. I thought I'll just make a single video going over every single wildfire combo that Kanos can do. I just thought it would be a good idea to put it all in the one video since I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of questions on Discord and stuff, exactly how to do certain combos and such. If you guys want more in-depth Kano content or just want to support the channel to help us continue to make best, we've actually started up a Patreon, which already has my complete Kano matchup and cyborg guide, along with my guide on how to pitch stack as Kano with a lot more to come. We also have a special deal at the moment as the first 50 Patreons will become honorary We Make Best OGs, having a discounted price to everything on our Patreon for as long as you want. This is just to give a special thanks to our day one supporters of the channel while hopefully giving something of value back. Truly, truly appreciate all you guys, but let's get back to the video. So we started off with the Wildfire Blazing Aether combo. This one's just your stock standard combo. This is what you're actually trying to do, no matter what type of combo you're doing, is Aether Wildfire, any spell into Blazing Aether. And this is how you're gonna pick up most of your wins as a Kano. So very important to know and master this one. So let's get into it. Uh, so we are imagining that we are in the opponent's turn right now and they're attacking us for lethal here. And so we can just do everything in response to the attack. So number one thing we wanna do is get down to one card in hand, that being the blazing, in order to be able to activate ragamuffins, place blazing on top, and then Kano into it. So to do this, we're gonna activate Kano to start off. Pitch in a blue. And we're gonna let this Kano activation resolve. A uh, key thing here that we're looking at when we let this Kano resolve is the cost of it. So the cheaper the better because the cheaper means that we can activate Metacarpus on our wildfire and even our middle spell, which overall is adding five to eight damage just in those pumps alone. So zero cost, perfect. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna activate our Crystal of Aetherweave. So this makes us have to pitch another card since we have nothing floating. Uh, we can let that resolve, but now we're in a spot where we have two cards left in hand, two floating, and now all we gotta do is activate Kano for the last time, pitching the last blue in our hand but we're gonna hold priority here as we're gonna to respond to our own Kano activation to activate our Ragamuffins because now we've only got one card in it. So we'll do that. And then, so what that does is it let us draw a card. So we draw a blue, so fantastic. Now we put a card from our hand, either on top of our deck or on the bottom, so. But we're gonna place this Blazing Aether on top and now we're gonna let that Kano activation resolve, which will banish the Blazing that we just put up there. And now here, all you gotta do is count up your resources needed to cast your combo and how many resources we got. So to cast our combo, we need one for Storm Striders, two for Wildfire, and then lucky for us, both of these cost zero. So we only need three. And then we count up our resources. We've got two floating, three in our hand, and we've got one from Tunic. So we've got six all up. So that's a lot extra. So we get a lot of Metacarpus pumps. So we activate Tunic, activate Storm Striders, now we can play a wizard card as an instant. Here we're gonna play our Aether Wildfire. Our Metacarpus will trigger, we'll say yes. We do want to pump, pitching the blue on our hand. So this will come in for six damage. And now it buffs all our spells by six. So next is we're gonna shoot this zero cost spell here. So this will come in for one plus six, but since we've got two floating, we can also Metacarpus it. So this is coming in for eight after we declare yes on Metacarpus. But yeah, so that dealt eight damage. And now to finish him off, we're gonna shoot him with Blazing Aether. Uh, we'll declare yes on Metacarpus because we've still got a floating. And then this should come in for 21. Simple, so it was a 35 damage turn. Very nice. All right, so next up, we've got the Wildfire Lesson combo. So this one is probably your most used combo as it's your most reliable. Why this combo is so reliable is because we're going to play Aether Wildfire, then we're gonna play Lessons and then Lessons lets us search for a wizard card and place it on top, which will be our Blazing Aether, and then we Kano into that. So it's almost guaranteed to have the full combo. But nonetheless, let's get into it. So first thing, just like the previous combo, is we're just trying to get down to one card in hand, that being Lesson and Lava, so we can activate Ragamuffins and place it on top. So number one thing is we're gonna activate Kano here. So we're gonna actually do everything in response to this Kano and only let this resolve after we've played our Lesson in Lava. This way we guarantee this Kano activation is gonna hit a Blazing Aeth. So remember, we only pitch into this Kano early because we need to get down to one card in hand. Now that we're gonna to respond to this, we're gonna activate our Crucible here, pitching another blue. So now we're down to two cards in hand, two floating. And now we can let this Crucible resolve. But now we're gonna still respond to that first Kano. We're gonna activate Kano again, pitching the last blue in our hand. And now, as you can see, we've got 
one card in hand, so the requirements are met for Ragamuffins, letting us activate that in response to that second Kano activation. So we're going to activate Ragamuffins, draw a card, it's a blue, so very nice. And then we have to place a card from our hand, either on top or the bottom of our deck. So that Lesson in Lava on top. Now we're going to let that second Kano activation resolve, because we know it's going to banish the Lesson in Lava. Same thing like before here, all you got to do is count up your resources that you have and need. So what we need is Storm Striders and Wildfire is three, Lessons is one. So we only need four resources. And as you can see, we've got two floating, three in our hand and a tunic. So we've got six. So that means two extra pumps for Metacarpus, which is huge. So we'll just activate our tunic. Now we'll activate Storm Striders. Let that resolve because now we can play a wizard card as an instant this turn. And boom, shoot the wildfire from Arsenal. Metacarpus will trigger. We'll say yes on the Metacarpus, letting us pay to pump it as we had the two extra resources, like I said before. So this will come in for six. And now we've got two floating, so we can shoot the lesson in lava and pay the Metacarpus with the one extra. So this should come in for 10, which is huge. And then lesson in lava lets us tutor for a card and put it to the top of our deck. So we can go and grab our Blazing Aether. And now that we know the Blazing Aether is on top of our deck, now we can finally let that first Kano activation resolve. And then this will banish the Blazing Aether, yes. And then we'll shoot that at him. We've got none spare for the meta. But boom, 22. And then as you can see all up, that's a 38 damage combo. So not only is it your most reliable one, that's actually one of your most highest damage combos as well. So I'd recommend mastering that one. All right, so here we got the wildfire into the spindle combo. Uh, this one, key things to note beforehand is this one is quite expensive since spindle costs two. But the nice thing is that you get to opt eight to 10 cards from the spindle before having to let your blind Kano resolve. But we'll get into the ordering of this one. So first thing you wanna do is just empty your hand. So you're able to ragamuffins the spindle on top of the deck. So to do this, we're gonna activate Kano. But unlike some of the other ones, we're gonna let this one stay on the stack as we want this to resolve after we've cast the spindle. So yeah, so now we're gonna to respond to this Kano activation by activating Crucible, pitching another blue. So now we're down to two cards in hand. And now in response to this Crucible activation, just need to get this last blue out of our hand and we can do that by activating Kano. Hold priority on this as well. So pitching the blue. And then now we've got one card in hand, we can activate our Ragamuffins. So let's us draw a card and then place a card back on top of our deck, which will be the spindle. So key thing there is we got a blue off the rags, which means we're not going to whiff. So that's very good. Um, do you want to banish? Yes. And now we've banished the, so the spindle. We can let this crucible resolve. And now once you get to this spot where you've got your banished spindle, a blue in hand, some resources floating and a Kano on the stack. Uh, Key thing here is just counting up your resources. So we've got two floating, three in our hand, and one from Tunic, so we've got six all up. And now we just gotta count how much we need for our combo. So we need one for Storm Striders, two for Wildfire, that's three, and then Spindle makes it five. So we've got one floating. Any floating slash extra resources that you've got spare, just pump them into Metacarpus, onto your Wildfire, and then on your next spell. So with this in mind, we're gonna use this two floating. Now pop our Storm Striders. Now we're gonna shoot this Wildfire pitching the blue in our hand. Um, the Metacarpus will trigger, and remember we had the one extra resource, so we're gonna use that. Um, we can just bottom these with the eye. But now this should come in for six, so the opponent lost six health. And now we get to play our Spindle, still responding to that first Kano activation. Uh, Metacarpus, we got no floating, so we can decline that one. But now Spindle comes in. So Spindle comes in for 10. And then as you can see, when you get to opt 10 as Kano, uh, you're almost always guaranteed a Blazing, unless you know exactly where they are in your deck. But as you can see here, we've got a Blazing. So pretty simple. We'll just bottom everything except for the Blazing. And then finally, we're gonna let that first Kano activation resolve, so. That's gonna Kano us into the Blazing, and then Blazing him for, this should be 22. 38 damage. 
All right, so here we got the wildfire flare combo. Uh, this one gets used mostly in your aggro matchups where you do have your flare in your deck. So against fires, dash, rhino. Um, so it's a very powerful combo. The combo is just going wildfire into flare into a third spell, whatever you can know into. And that third spell is gonna get buffed by both your wildfire and by your flare that's also getting buffed by the wildfire. So you're essentially getting three or four buffs on your final spell. We'll jump straight into this one. So same thing as always, we're in the opponent's turn and yeah, imagine that they're attacking us for lethal first things first we just gotta get down the one card in hand in order to activate ragamuffin's hat place the flare on top so number one thing here is we'll activate kano get a card out of our hand and then we're gonna let this resolve so we find an eighth of spindle so we let it resolve just because we got to find that third spell that we're gonna cast and by letting it resolve we get to do one thing here which is check the resource cost so this one costs two so it's actually a bad hit even though it's a good card um, because now we're really relying on rags to hit a yellow or a blue. But nonetheless, we'll continue. So we've got Aether Spindle banished. Next, we're just gonna activate our Crucible, pitching another blue. So now we've got two floating. We can let this resolve. And then last thing is we're gonna activate Kano now to get this last blue out of our hand. Respond to that Kano activation by activating Ragamuffin's hat. This is gonna let us draw a card since we've only got one card in hand. And we draw a blue off the rags, which is very good. So now we get to put the Aether Flare back on top of our deck. And now we'll let this Kano activation resolve, banishing that Aether Flare that we just put up there. All right, so now you get into the position where you've got your Wildfire with Storm Striders and two Banish spells. All we gotta do is count up all the resources that we have and that we need. So what we need is one for Storm Striders, two for Wildfire, so that's three, and then two for Spindle and Flare on top of that, so it's six all up. Now we just count ours, we've got two floating, three in hand, and a Tunic, so we've got six, so perfect. We can afford all of it. But that's what I was talking about with this costing two. So if this costs zero, uh, you essentially get to buff your Wildfire and your Flare with Metacarpus Pumps, which actually adds up to being more damage so but it's fine since we can still cast everything so we're happy so uh first thing we'll just activate tunic just to make it all go faster now we're going to activate our storm striders let that resolve and then shoot our wildfire at the opponent um we're gonna not pay metacarpus because as said before we have no extra resources so that should come in for five with the crucible and now make sure you shoot the aether flare second so pitching the blue, uh, no on the metacarpus again. And then this comes in for three plus five from the wildfire. So that came in for eight. And now using our floating resources to send in the spindle, no again. And then this comes in for 17. And so the reason it's 17 is because it's getting buffed by the wildfire for five, getting buffed by the aether flare for eight as well. So that's 13. And then on top of itself, that just deals four. So all up, that was a 30 damage turn. All right, last up, just gonna throw a little extra one in here. I feel like every Kano player should know this. It's the Aether Wildfire Sonic Boom combo. You don't often use this combo, maybe once in every 100 games, but nonetheless, it's good to know, so we'll get into it. Key things to note is Sonic Boom costs two, so the combo is a little bit resource heavy, so that's why I'd recommend only doing this if you're desperate. Just like every other combo, our first thing we wanna do is get to one card in hand so we can activate Ragamuffins and place the Sonic Boom on top. So to start it off, we're gonna activate Kano. Uh, we can let this one resolve and we hit a one drop so that's perfect and next we just need to get these next two blues out of our hand so we're going to activate crucible like always pitching another blue we can let that resolve and then we can activate kano here and then yep like before now we've got one card in hand and in response to this kano activation we're going to activate our ragamuffin tap so this lets us draw so we draw blue perfect and now we get to place the Sonic Boom on top of our deck. And now, since the Sonic Boom's on top, we can let our Kano activation resolve, banishing the Sonic Boom. And then same thing, like before, uh, just counting up all our resources that we need for our combo and how much we have. So we need one for Storm Striders, two more for Wildfire, that's three, and then three more for Scalding and Sonic Boom. And then, so we've got two floating, three in our hand and tunic so we can cast everything. So it's gonna be good. Uh, so we'll start off, activate tunic, and then we're gonna activate our storm striders. Let us play a wizard card as an instant. This lets us play our wildfire. Uh, since we had none floating, we can't activate the metacarpus, so we'll turn those off. And then that comes in for five. 
Um, next up, we're gonna shoot him with the sonic boom here. So we got a pitch two for that. So we wanna do the boom before the third spell, just in case you hit something like an aether flare or something like that. So nonetheless, let the sonic boom resolve. So that hits him for eight, and then it lets us banish the snapback, and then we get to play it for eight resources cheaper than its cost. So we'll shoot that as well. So that came in for eight, and then use our last resource to shoot the scolding rain, which will come in for seven. And then that's the wildfire sonic boom combo. And as you can see by the damage, it's 28. So it's a little bit on the lower side on top of it being a little bit unreliable, but nonetheless, 28 can usually get you there to get the dub. So always good to know that one. But that's it for the Kano. What do I even call this video? That's it for the Kano combo guide. Hopefully this helps you guys out a bit. Uh, if you guys have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer. I'll drop a link down to a deck list if you guys want. And also drop a link down on the Patreon if you guys are still interested in that. But yeah, that's it for now. We outie.